I made the best Minecraft Christmas mod. Last year, I made a really awesome Christmas mod for Minecraft, and a lot of you guys wanted me to update it and add new features to it. I got a whole lot of comments that wanted me to update the mod, add new features for this year, and even release it. So in this video, I'm gonna be going through the creative process of making Christmas features for my Christmas mod in Minecraft. I'm gonna show you the modeling of all of the brand new mobs, items, and blocks, and showcase them in the end, and show you how the mod is progressed. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The first new addition that we're going to add to this mod is we're going to make some Christmas armor in the form of a Santa suit costume. Now for anyone who's wondering how to make an armor set and how to generally just make the armor texture, the method which I personally use is I use block bench and then I import the diamond armor set and then I just work from the ground up from there. It's pretty simple and pretty basic. Now we're going to use the diamond armor set as a stencil to draw around and create a Santa costume and there's going to be two parts of this skin. So when you make a Santa suit or basically any armor suit in Minecraft using this method, there's two pieces to the skin. So you have the armor layer one and the armor layer two. We're mainly going to be working within the armor layer one to add the main details and the armor layer two is mainly just for some extra details which go below the armor on a separate layer. So as you can see we have a really cool Santa suit working right now and this is going to be a brand new armor set that we're going to add to our mod made out of red, black and white wool pieces and we'll add a few different crafting recipes to it later just to add more of a winter Christmas theme to our mod which wasn't there last year. The next step is to not only import the armor textures into our mod creation workspace but also just create the brand new armor set. Now as you can see the generated skin for the armor that is given us is pretty bland and the item icons for the armor pieces are also pretty pathetic as well so we're going to get some images from Google we're going to resize them to around 32 by 32 so they have a decent Minecraft look to them and they're not too detailed and we're gonna rechange the icons for all of the different armor pieces into Christmas Santa suit themed ones so they look better. As you can see we have icons for the boots, the legs, chest robes and the Santa's hat itself so it just looks a lot better in the inventory. We're gonna just edit this and remove a lot of the white background, resize them and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change the recipes a little bit. I've added recipes for every single armor piece which are based off the wool that they actually appear to have. So now we have the opportunity to throw the mod in game and actually test it. So I'm just showing you what the armor set looks like throwing on each piece one at a time. It just generally looks like a Santa suit. It looks pretty cool and paired with the awesome sled vehicle that we made last year we can just zoom around the map and fly around on our Slayer Santa. Pretty neat. Let's just add a little bit of extra detail just to make the Santa suit look a little bit more impressive instead of just some basic flat colors which doesn't really look as good. Okay we're good to go. Okay let's import some new textures and some new Java models to work on a few new mods. Now I'm working it in a different mod than I did last year so we actually have to re-add all of the content which we made in last year's Christmas mod. For this I'm going to import the Santa and the evil Santa textures which will allow us to make a good version of Santa Claus and also a bad version and we're going to start creating the mobs. Now they're going to perform pretty similarly but we also need to record some really basic bass sounds for the Santa Claus mob to use so he has some more Christmassy sounded voices to them instead of just giving him normal default vanilla sounds. So we'll import these, we'll assign them them to the Santa mob so he's a little bit more unique and custom and it'll be quite humorous in game to listen to and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some procedure blocks to actually give Santa some custom behavior and let him actually have some unique features in game. So the first one's going to be that if you right click on Santa he's going to drop some random items as presents. This might be a little bit overpowered but it's just going to be during Christmas. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to also add a procedure for when Santa's hurt he's going to summon some backup. Now we haven't made the elf mobs just yet so we're just going to put some placeholder mobs in here which we'll change later but he will summon some elves. So let's get to work on the evil Santa next. So we're going to import evil Santa, we're going to give him the correct texture and we're going to set up some basic properties. We're just going to copy and paste the other Santa so we can edit it really easily. Now all he's going to do is he's just going to attack the player, he's going to attack Santa and he's also going to attack some other friendly mobs like villagers and anything which evil Santa would probably not have on his side including the good elves a little bit later. So we'll import some new models. The reason we're doing this now is we're going to actually add Krampus, the Christmas and Austrian themed evil Santa if you like from some folk tales. Now we did add this in last year's mod too so this is going to be pretty familiar but we're going to add some custom behavior to Krampus this year to make him a little bit different too. So Santa can now summon Cerberus mobs and also we'll add some procedure blocks to Krampus where when he gets attacked he's going to actually apply some negative effects to the player like slowness, wither, 
nausea, blindness, and weakness. Basically anything which can negatively affect the player. After this, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add some more procedures. We're going to add a custom message where when Krampus gets summoned, it says Krampus has awoken and it's going to advertise this to everyone in game or everyone on the server to kind of add a little bit of a spook or chill factor when he spawns. And we're going to also add a custom special achievement because Krampus is extremely tanky. I think he has like 800 health, so you're probably not going to kill him. But if for some reason you're powerful enough to actually kill him and slay him in game, we're going to give you a little bit of a reward. So we're going to give you an achievement for actually defeating him. And this is going to be triggered when you actually kill him. So we're going to add a custom achievement block here and you're going to gain it when you actually defeat him. Then next up, we're going to import the elf textures from last year too. So we have the good elf, we have the bad elf because we're just going to customize the original elf skin, change a few colors of the reds and the greens, and we're going to change it into the evil elf skin so that we have a skin for two of the custom mobs. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make these different elves have different properties in their AI. So for an example, the evil elf will attack the elves and attack Santa, whereas the good elves will attack the evil elves and attack evil Santa, for an example. So we just need to go ahead and copy and paste these mobs. So we have a good elf and a bad elf and add some custom procedures to them. We're also going to add a custom gingerbread man mob to kind of spice up the Christmas feeling too, because we want a few new mobs to actually populate the world. Perhaps next year, if I work on this mod too, I might add a custom Christmas dimension and maybe a few following structures. So along with this, we have quite a lot of brand new mobs now too. And we also are going to add the Grinch from last year too. Now I didn't make any custom Grinch sounds, but the Grinch is going to have some special abilities. So if you hurt him, for an example, he has the chance to create a random explosion, which won't actually do anything, kind of like a prank. And then also he has the chance to summon four different TNT, which will randomly spawn around him and be primed and explode. We're also going to create reindeer because why not? And I also have a red deer in my mod already. So I already have the deer sounds and we have a reindeer mob now too. Okay, we're now in game and it's time to test. So let's get spawning. So here we have our normal standard elf. He actually looks pretty decent, not too detailed. And then we also have the Santa mob, which I'm probably most impressed with, which is one of my first out there custom models, which I made last year. I could definitely make a better one now, but I decided to kind of stay humble and keep all the models that we made last year for the Christmas mob. So now we have evil Santa versus normal Santa. As you can see, he absolutely yeeted him off that sand platform because I gave evil Santa an insane knockback level, which is pretty funny. Also, you can see the reindeer look pretty cute too. This is, I think, the same model I used for my deer and I just put horns on them. And then we can go ahead, we can spawn the gingerbread men, which I gave a head animation. So they turn the head, but they have two head pieces. So that needs fixing. As for Krampus, he also has some pretty cool particles. He has the villager angry particles but they kind of spawn in the wrong place. That's also an easy fix. And then we have this really awesome Christmas tree, which I think is probably one of my best models. As for Santa, kind of think he's too overpowered, don't you think? Luckily, I'm not going to spawn him in the world because I think players will just abuse this to get extremely copious amounts of free diamonds and iron and adamantite and pretty much every single gem under the sun. But it's kind of cool that if you right click, he gives you presents. 